Oh, good job, Elena. Tell that duck to go away. Good. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Ballard Family Farm. It's a little bit windy out here this morning, so I've got the mic on. Hopefully it cuts out quite a bit of the wind. See Donald's tail feathers moving in the wind. So Donald's doing pretty good after that little fight he had with Goliath. And I do have a few chickens getting out here and there because this fence is not on anymore. I've kind of kept it off. Uh, but they get right back in when I feed them. As a matter of fact, I'll go over here and feed them real quick and you'll probably see this little white chicken with the brown speckles on it. It'll just go right through the hole. All the chickens are doing good though. We haven't lost one. Thank God. <laughs> I usually have bad luck with, with uh, keeping the chickens out here. Donald will try to attack this chicken though. What's that one over there doing? Just kind of off on its own. I might need to go check on that one. How many of y'all are going to be girls? That's what I really need to know. How many of y'all are going to be girls? All right, let's go feed them real quick. And then I want to take you over and feed the uh, puppies. We're going to feed them some dog food, some puppy food. I'll show you kind of how we do it with our uh, livestock guardian puppies. We do it different with our Boston Terrier puppies, but these, these puppies are just bigger dogs and they just develop quicker. So they can handle food a little bit differently than like our little Boston Terrier puppies we used to raise. They know what's coming. So does Donald. Get out of your water. <laughs> I had about four or five of them come out just now. And then it went right back in. Well, I fed you right over here, Donald. Donald's right there and he's mad because he can't get to it. If he can. The duck's right behind me. I got all the ducks eating as well. Well, not all of them, four of them. Four of the seven. Well, get in there, Donald. Fly in there, buddy. Donald, quit picking on the chickens. Goliath's gonna come pick on you. Goliath does chase Donald off now. Goliath knows he can take him, so. Our big duck chases the uh, rooster off here and there. They haven't gotten in a fight since. So I usually just pour a little bit on the ground in two different spots and let these ducks eat. And they get fed twice, typically twice, but it's very little. It's not really, I mean, it is enough for them to survive on, but I really want them to, you know, come out and get the bugs. Hey, be nice. So probably within the next few months, I may start seeing little baby ducklings because Goliath is breeding with several of these little girls. So there's a chance we could see little ducks going around. I have no idea where they're laying their eggs right now. I'm gonna have to try to figure out where they're laying their eggs because I have no idea. I'm, I'm almost certain they're laying eggs. They're a little over seven months old. 
They were born January 1st. And remember, I got these from the Eldridge fam. Uh, they were born uh, New Year's Day though, so that's ex easy. It's gonna be easy for me to know exactly how old these ducks are. So about seven and a half months old. They can start laying eggs between six and eight, nine months, somewhere in there. So I would say since they're breeding, since they're mating, they're probably laying eggs. Some of them, not, but maybe not all of them, but some of them. Here comes another one. The other day I was out here <clears throat> fixing some of the fence over here and uh, the ducks started fighting one another. The two ducks that are separate versus the, the five ducks. <laughs> These ducks can get after it now, I'm telling you. Goliath ended up winning against the other two ducks, but the other two ducks dominated these other four ducks that Goliath is with. And so I'm thinking maybe the two off ducks could just be both, both boys, but Goliath ended up taking care of both of them and, and moving them off. It's kind of, you know, it's just mother nature. I'm gonna let them do what they're gonna do. I don't want them to hurt each other for sure, but none of them really got hurt. So everything was good. So that's what, that's what was happening. See that duck? That's what was happening the other day. Uh-oh. Y'all tell me what that means. He's going to chase him off. So this is the duck that just walked up. It may be one of the two stranger ducks. I don't know what that means. Y'all tell me. I know some of y'all know. So he's going to chase that one off. I don't know. I'm curious. <laughs> okay, we'll come back over here to the chickens. Oh, Rhineland just woke up. She's coming across to the house. It's probably about nine o'clock in the morning, y'all. She's a late sleeper. All right, well, we'll finish the video over there with those chickens because Donald just ran over there as well. So we'll get one more look at Donald here in a minute. Well, I got one of my puppies out. That means they're still, they're still small enough to fit through the hole at the very bottom. He wasn't out this morning when I walked out. Oh, he am sleepy. You a sleepy boy? Yeah. He's droggy. Oh, you got pee pee? Yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hi. You sure are a cutie. You sure are a cutie. Yes, you are. Oh, you feel so soft and smooth. Okay. Hi, Elena. Hi, girl. Ready to get out for a little bit? So we have been feeding the puppies for several days now. Look at this one, just take a nap right here. What are you about to do? Okay, so we usually do let Yelena out while we feed the puppies. Let's see, two, four, five, one out here is six, and then the four over there. So that's 10 still, so we're doing good there. We do usually let Yelena out to stretch her legs while we're feeding the puppies. But this morning, I'm actually gonna try to feed them while Yelena's in here and see kind of how Yelena reacts. Uh, Cause they need to know to eat while she's here puppy food other than just Yelena, you know, to, to nurse off of Yelena. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna feed the puppies. These are the chick feeders. I just take the lids off and, uh, do, you know, just put them on the ground like this. Gives plenty of space for all the puppies to kind of get up there to, you know, so they're not crowded in one spot. First thing I do is put a little bit of water in it. You're gonna get wet, puppy. 
Come here, you're gonna get wet. This does two things. This, nah, Helena, that's for your puppies. So adding the water in with the feed does two things. It teaches them how to drink water as well. Elena, hey, that's for your puppies. And then this is puppy feed in here. I just put it in here and let it soak. So I got these on an angle, so. Not all of it's soaking. So Yelena eats the same puppy food that the, the puppies will eat. It's high in protein, which is what Yelena needs right now. Forgot my cup. Just use my hand. But this, like I said, this does do a few things. It lets them, lets them drink water, which they need to start doing. And then it also allows them to eat food instead of, you know, eating off of Yelena. So let me get the rest of them over here. A lot of them are napping right now. Looky, dinner's ready. Or I guess I should say breakfast. Come here, puppy. No, it's okay. It's okay. You gotta keep the ducks out. These little guys think they can eat everything. One more. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're getting wet. Come here. You're wet. Oh. Come here, quit growling at me. Come here. Hey, oh, you're soaking wet. Look, there's food. They're all muddy. So I turned the water on and got him wet. <laughs> all right, let me zoom in on this and bring you in closer. But see, they go after the water, which is what I want. I want them to learn to drink the water. Hey, this is not for you. Okay, let me get this duck out of the way now. This is a different duck. Oh, good job, Elena. Tell that duck to go away. Good. Get that duck. Look, tell that duck to go away. Go away. Go away. Hey, go away. Go away. So this is when you need to start making sure you're worming, deworming your puppies. For one, they're more interested in food that's not just Yelena. So they will start eating things that just are straight off the ground. Get this duck out of the way. So they will start eating like uh, chicken poop. Like all dogs try it. They may not like it. Some dogs <laughs> tend to eat it more often than others. Elena's trying to protect her babies. You see that? She got up real quick.
As long as she doesn't feel threatened by this duck, she'll leave it alone probably. But if Goliath came over here and started hissing, Yelena would probably not have any of that. Okay, look, duck, you can't be over here. This is their food. I already fed you. Tell them, Yelena, get them. Get her. Get the duck. Good job. Same thing she does with goats when goats get around her food. Good job, Yelena. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. You keep her at bay. Yeah, that's a good mama. Yeah, she's a good mama. Go get her. Get the duck. Look, Yelena. Oh. So I have not cut this at all, this, this video. So y'all see how quick they eat all through this. Now the dogs are just getting in there where, she, where the duck can't get in there. <laughs> that might make a good thumbnail. Already learning to protect their food. Of course, Mama shows them. Good job, Mama. They are finished, y'all. Just like that. And yes, they will make a mess, so I end up cleaning these. So just like that, they finished that food pretty quick. I didn't do any cutting right there, so from start to finish, I'll see how quick they would eat through that. Now, eventually, I'm going to have to feed them more than that. And we feed them twice a day right now, plus Yelena's still feeding them. I noticed yesterday Yelena fed them three different times that I was aware of. She may have fed them more, like maybe in the middle of the night as well. I don't know. But yesterday, I saw Yelena feeding them three times, plus we fed them twice. So they're still going to grow. They're going to grow like crazy. Um, but let me get back to what I was talking about, like deworming them. Tanya came out and dewormed them. I think it was today's Wednesday. I think we did it Monday. We were going to do it Friday together, but she wasn't home. And then we got busy Saturday and Sunday. So I think she came out and uh, dewormed them Monday. But from here on out, we got to keep, keep on top of that because these, like I was saying, these puppies will start eating everything they find. Um, it's just, just what they do. It's part of their chewing process. They start chewing everything. Everything they find, they chew. And that includes chicken poop other dog poop, duck poop, goat poop, you know, whatever's in here. Uh, and we're going to start letting them out amongst the farm and they're going to find more things. So that's what's going to add the worm load to them. Uh, so we got to stay on top of that. And then here pretty soon we'll actually, I think at six weeks, we start giving them their first shots. It may be five weeks, I have to look. But anyway, we'll start giving them their, their first shots and then we give it to them again, I think at eight weeks. Uh, it's like a nine in one combination shot and then the rabies shot. They're all doing good and they're real healthy. Uh-oh. Golly, they're getting more and more adventurous. That one's going way out there to poop. <laughs> yeah, he's using the bathroom. That's good though, he doesn't want to poop where he sleeps. And the duck's drinking the dog water. You still like your babies, Elena? Hey girl, you still like your babies? Yeah? She's been such a good mom. I'm not sure how easily we're gonna have selling these pups, but if we have an easy time of it and it goes pretty well, we may you know, do this once every other year with Elena because she's such a good mom and these puppies are so pretty. Just keep her and Silas intact and you know, maybe every other year have babies. He's already back. We're starting to get more and more playful. Good job, Elena. Oh, you're gonna let her eat? You're gonna let her eat? She just got through eating.
Okay, I went ahead and let Yelena out. And this is part of the problem we're going to have. These puppies probably want to get out and follow her. I'll keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't get too far. Okay, y'all have fun today. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, I forgot to pick up my feeders. They're going to sit there and chew on them. Yeah, it's definitely time for some chew toys. Yeah, I'll go buy about four or five of them. Keep them occupied while they're in there and between feedings because they're getting active. They want to play. They want to chew mainly. So I'll get some chew toys. All right, Donald, you ready to go eat? I can finally feed you now. I can't even call those girls your girls anymore because you don't really stay with them. So we're gonna go feed these chickens real quick and then we'll wrap this video up. <laughs> Braxton's just left for work. I like to separate their food in a few different areas. So they're not all crowded in one spot and fighting for it. So yesterday was 103 degrees, felt like 112. So it was hot yesterday. I was supposed to shoot a video yesterday, this video or something similar to this. Just couldn't get myself to do it. Um, today's supposed to be 102, just as hot, but it's early in the morning. Feels good out here right now. The wind really helps cool you off. Hopefully y'all don't hear too much wind noise because it's probably it's probably a 25 mile an hour gust right now. I don't know if y'all can see that tree blowing at all. Probably not. <laughs> but anyway, it's really hot right now in Oklahoma. Uh, it's miserable. It's that time of year where really you just want to stay in the house and get chores done inside. Um, I have been working on the master bathroom. I've got it pretty much ready to grout. So all the tiles up. Uh, so once I get that done, I'll probably show you guys that in, a, in one of my videos. I haven't really shown you the process of me building it because I'm not great at it and I don't want someone to copy me. Um, it's going to work for us, but it's not like professional style. Also, my chickens have been, it's been so hot that my chickens have been slowing down in eggs. I'm only getting two to three eggs a day right now. I was getting anywhere between six and eight like two weeks ago. I'm assuming it's because of the heat. All right, Donald, you be happy, okay? Stay away from that duck. He's bigger than you now. One other thing I wanted to add before we get off this video is the, the puppy feeder I was using. Those, it's just a chick feeder starter. You don't have to use that kind of stuff. You can use whatever you want. Tanya uses one of those black tubs, one of those uh, rubber black tubs. Um, she likes using that. I just don't like how crowded they get around it. But honestly, it's probably the same when you get right down to it. It's probably the same amount of uh, surface that they can eat around. Um, I, I really like a cookie sheet or a cookie pan that's kind of long and flat. You can just stick the food on there, especially when there's no water needed. Once they don't need water, Something large that they can all eat around is good. That way you can feed them in one spot. They can all get around it and eat. Um, by the time they're eight weeks old, they'll be eating dry food for sure. Um, these dogs will probably start eating dry food by week six, honestly, because they're, they're pretty much doing it now. We don't mush it up. We just get it soft for them. They eat it all. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Remember, do the good.